welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I am losing weight following a calorie controlled diet. I use the NutriCheck app to track my calories and my weigh day is a Saturday. So it is Saturday and it is the 29th of October. So I have been absent since Monday. That's Alex shouting on his computer. Yeah, I've been absent since Monday because we're off for the kids off term and um, we took them away to Edinburgh. I have put a separate vlog up. I will link it below. Um, we had a fantastic time. So before that, I went out on the Friday. I weighed in on the Saturday. I weighed in at 12 stone 10 pounds. My original start weight was 14 stone 6. Um, so I'd gained a pound last week. Now, I didn't hold any hope for this week. I knew it was going to be a gain or a maintain. But I wanted to still try my best. So we went out on at a girls' night on the Friday. It was lovely. I had a fab weekend. Went away on the Monday. And um, yeah, it was brilliant brilliant absolutely love edinburgh and i would definitely recommend it and the kids loved it too so i'll be definitely visiting again so really enjoyed that now on the way there i had a chat with steve and his mum who came with us and they decided not to track so they weren't going to count calories they were just going to enjoy it obviously it's an expensive few days and they wanted to just enjoy it let their hair down and eat what they want and generally I find it difficult to do this I do have I do go over and above and have extra things but not tracking at all makes me a bit nervous but I did I started tracking and I just thought no I'm not going to do it now I still tried to you'll see if, I don't know if I put all the food in I think I might have in my last in in my Edinburgh vlog but I tried to make better decisions like it were an all you can eat buffet in the mornings. I didn't go for loads and loads of things. One morning I had porridge and a bagel, which I did put the calories in just to see that I were happy with it. Um, one morning I had a fry up, but again, I didn't have loads of other stuff, which I would have normally done. I tried to just make better choices. I went out for an evening meal and everyone wanted a dessert and I thought yeah I'm just gonna have it there were no calories on the menu and I wanted to try a proper cheeseburger because I'm new to cheese and I'd not had a burger for a while so I ended up having that we did have a dessert as well which was yummy um just trying to think what else oh we went to not Mama and Malfi's what's it called Bella Italia now, I wasn't very impressed and I don't think I would rush back, whether it was just because it was so busy in Edinburgh or it, it, I had, it was a mushroom pasta and there was not a lot of mushrooms in it and it was lukewarm. It would just, yeah, it weren't, it tasted okay, but I just expected a little bit more, do you know, we had been like Italian and I don't know, I expect a bit more. So I don't think I'd try that again. We did want to get into Pizza Express. Steve was saying it's really nice um, and to try that, but we couldn't get in because it was really busy. But overall, the food that I've had has been delicious. Um, did have some chocolate as well, which I, I should have not really. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, Saturday. No, what day are we on? We're on Saturday, so not Friday. Thursday, when we'd come back, we ended up having, I can't even remember what day I'm on, do you know? Anyway, on the way back, we ended up having a McDonald's, um, which I had uh, something crispy, a new one, it was okay. Um, then we had an Hello Fresh meal the day after we had we ended up having a chip shop yesterday. Now, yesterday I had every intention of vlogging, um, but things didn't go quite to plan and I ended up hospital most of the day with my nan. So 
that's when we ended up having the chippy because I was late back. We were supposed to be having the mellow fresh meal, but I was late back, and it was just it was just a bit of a chaotic day, really. Um, she's absolutely fine now, and she's been released this morning, so we'll just keep an eye on her. But yeah, yesterday just not in the mood to to vlog and and to get myself motivated, really. But food other than the chips, well, the chip shop were all right actually, because I only had a bit of a chip boy because it wasn't that nice. Um, but other than that, the food had been good during the day. Um, the day before it had been fine, but then I ended up having some toast before bed. The calories up until that point were spot on. So yeah, it's been a weird one. So you can see with what I've said. I mean, I've mentioned a lot of things. I've mentioned burgers, I've mentioned fry ups, I've mentioned uh, McDonald's, chip shop, chocolate. So yeah. You can you can guess what I'm going to be saying next. So last week I weighed in 12 stone 10 and today I've weighed in, did I say 12 stone? Yeah. Um, and today I've weighed in at 12 stone 13. So I've put three pounds on. Now I am really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. And I've come back very focused. The last two days I've been drained. But today I've got up with the right frame of mind and um ready to absolutely kick ass so let's see what i've got here i've printed myself off just a calendar just a free printable calendar i've printed november and december off and um i'm going to cross off the days so the challenge is, do you know what? It's not even a challenge. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. It's not a challenge. It can't be as we are absolutely going to smash it. So other than today, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight weigh-ins. If you get weighed on Saturday like me, that'll take you up to Christmas Eve. I've highlighted them in like pink at side. Um, so I'm going to cross off the days as I do them like I'm in a prison cell and then I will put my losses in the Saturdays which they're going to be losses they are going to be losses if I can get myself to 12 stone for Christmas Eve I feel absolutely bloody amazing but these if you just type in free printable calendars you can print yourself one off I'm going to stick these on the fridge I'm going to cross them off every day so I've got a visual kind of motivation to see these crosses and see it all kind of filled in ready for Christmas and get some losses on there so join me next Saturday when you can see what I've lost um, I'm going to keep new to check set to a pound but I'm not going to try well I'm going to try and kind of minimize eating my exercise calories I'm still going to be eating some because on some days I, my body will need it um, I'm going to try and focus on nutritional food so I'm going to try and fill up on high fibre protein things like that just try and make better choices obviously I'm not going to be perfect I never am perfect I've been on this app this app I've been on YouTube for over three years now and I've still never hit target so things have changed and I have improved but you can see that I'm not perfect but I'm a I'm a trier so I'm gonna keep trying so what I want you to do to keep me motivated to keep you motivated to keep us all on track is I'm gonna make a commitment to track I'm gonna do my daily vlogs as normal I'm gonna do my weekly weigh-ins as normal and I'm also going to start doing it on Instagram again I got out of the um, routine of taking photos but I'm gonna put my exercise, my food, my snacks, I'm going to track everything on Nutri uh, on Instagram and I will start using tag, what shall I call it, peace, good, Christmas boost, I'll put it up on screen, so hashtag Christmas, uh, peace, good, Christmas boost, so anyone from now on Instagram, tag me in, Let's smash it. I want to see the calories you're burning. If you're on Slimming World, I want to see what you're eating, what sins you're eating. I want to see um, what exercise you're doing, what food you're doing. I want to see recipes. I just want to be... 
absorbed in everyone doing well so it makes me do well because when people are good around you you really do like steve's been off plan and and that's been a real strain on me milk of it. let me just blow my nose i had one of my mad sneezing fits <laughs> so yeah because because he's been off plan because he's working away and long hours and stuff just just knocked him about and he just couldn't get back into it so he's starting from tomorrow and I hope that'll spur me on but I am feeling very motivated today I have already been up I've been to the gym I have cleaned the house top to bottom I've printed all this stuff off I've got myself focused I'm on uh, 7774 steps which I'm really happy with now 10,000 steps for me doesn't always come naturally it's it's not a natural thing for me to do 10,000 I think my natural steps are around 6,000 so to me I'm going to be happy if I've achieved between 8 and 10,000 a day so that's going to be another aim of mine so it's going to be to stick to calories not eat all my exercise calories to achieve between 8 and 10,000 steps a day um, it can be a little bit lower if I go to the gym doing a toning class because sometimes if I do two hours of toning I'm not going to get the steps in because it's a lot of lifting and stuff like that but as long as I'm happy that I've done the activity that I need to um, to drink my two litres a day which I definitely have not done this week um, and just to stay positive, happy, focused and um, healthy that's what I'm going to do that's a plan so tag me into anything from tomorrow well you can tag me in from today if you want but it's going to be late when this goes up but tag me into everything everything and anything to keep me on track right another thing is i'm going to try and do some more lives really enjoyed doing that the other day but it's finding time isn't it? i mean i could be live now rather than chatting to this but hey ho so Something that's coming up on the 1st of November is the Cherries. You know, the Cherries app. I've done a few unboxing. Absolutely love the app. They reached out and asked me to do a live on their channel. Now, at first I said no because I was very nervous. But then I did the live with you guys and really enjoyed it. So I'm going to be doing it. Um, they don't pay me monetary. They pay me with snacks and goodies. So... Um, it's worth it for me. Do you know what I mean? When when you're struggling as a family um, and you get an opportunity to do something like this, you do it, don't you? So, and especially with it being cherries because they're fan fantastic. So that's going to be on the 1st of November. I'll be live on their app, not on YouTube. And it's at 2 p.m. So I'll be doing it on my lunch break at work. What I would love is if you are free, to come on that live just to give me a bit of support what they'll be doing as well is giving me a discount code for that hour um, and i think you have 24 hours to use it so start checking your apps out now your cherries app start filling your basket with anything you want like christmas stuff or whatever and then i'll release that code when i'm on the live and you can use it i think it'll let me just check i think it gives you 10 percent on but there's loads on the am and order some Christmas stuff. Um, 10, 10, 10 percent. I think it is 10 percent. I don't know why I'm looking. Yeah, 10 percent. You'll have 24 hours. So that'll be, uh, I'll remind you on the Monday night. But yeah, it'll be 2 p.m. on the 1st of November. So that is one bit of news. Um, what was the other thing that I wanted to mention? So we've got the challenge, that not challenge, we're just going to do it, the non-challenge. Um, I've set my goals, what I want to do. I've printed my calendar, so I just need to know who's with me. I'm going to try some, um, not guacamole, avocado tomorrow. Bought some. I'm going to show you this book as well. Now this, I bought... When I were in Edinburgh, I started to read it and it's local to me. I can't believe it. It, it first mentioned Dan Flask Reservoir, Sheffield, and it was saying like, sayings that we say. And I think I was reading it thinking, no one else says that. I can't say it. I, I, 
probably could swear, but it's not a nice word for what they say. But yeah, I've started reading it and fair way in since I got back as well. And it's a really good read. So I'll let you know when I've finished it. So it's called Reckoning by Russ Thomas. But yeah, I've just um, Googled him and he's local. I think there's only got three books out. I only picked it because I liked the cover. <laughs> Cause I, do you know what I read? What have I just read now? I've just read this, The Girls by Lisa Jewell, and it weren't my cup of tea. I found it hard to get into, quite boring. And there were no like twists, there were no grit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it were a bit flat. Now I've tried two of hers now. I've tried Invisible Girl and The Girls, and yeah, they're not for me. My next book, I've got, I bought another one as well. Let me just show you. I'm sorry if you're not interested in books, but I got, I'm going to read that one. Richard Osman, The Thursday Murder Club, which is actually Steve's. Um, he's not read it yet, but his mum's read it and she said it's fantastic. Waterstone bag. It's a cute little bag. That was from Edinburgh. Big waterstones. I've got like a, it's like a three-story one. It's got like a cafe in top. But I have never read any of the Jack Reacher books, but I did Google it and it did say that you don't need to read them in order. It's not like a follow on. So this is Bet Better Off Dead, Lee Child, Lee Child and Andrew Child, the new Jack Reacher. So that's um, another book that I've got to read. So I've got plenty to read. But do you know what? I find like when I've had an hard day and I've been gym and I've done my vlog. I just can't be bothered to watch telly anymore. I'm just, just not into telly at all at the minute. So I just like to get snuggled up in my bed, get my snuggly slippers on, my dressing gown, oh, oh cosy, and then read a few chapters. Perfect. Right, so today's going well. So I'm going to show you the food that I'm eating. And then um, I've already had breakfast, snacks and lunch. And then we're going to, we've got an Ella Fresh meal for tea, which I think it's called orange chicken and jasmine rice, which should be interesting. I did have a curry the other night, but I'm still not loving curry. I ate it all. But I would never, ever choose curry. I could do with some more like lunch and breakfast ideas. So... If you see anything that you think I'd like, tag me into it because I definitely need inspiration. I need to keep variety in my life. Now I've got variety. Now I'm not fussy eater anymore. I need to keep trying more and more and just make sure I don't slump back into my old ways. So that is the aim. Anyway, I'm rambling on quite a bit. Um, but yes, remember to tag me in. And we'll start posting on Instagram from tomorrow morning. And we will absolutely smash this. And then we shall fill that in on Saturday to see how much I've lost. Which I'm going to lose loads. Absolute loads. No, not really. I've only got set to a pound. But I'm going to try my bloody best. But what's that? Eight pound? Eight pound? So I need to lose a little bit more than that, don't I? I want that. so if I'm if I'm twelve ten and I want to be twelve for Christmas and there's eight weeks. So I need to lose like a pound and a quarter or a pound and a half. That is that's so achievable though, isn't it? So achievable. And we've got nothing coming up except for Kayla's birthday, which that should knock me off track because it's just you know, doing whatever she wants to. And then um we're not like birthday cake type people, so we should be fine. Um, and then Steve trekked me to see the Miz in Leeds. And that is in December. So hopefully I should be able to count that as well. So we'll see. Yeah, night away we are at the kids. So I'm looking forward to that. Very exciting. So yeah, some, some good things coming up. And I'm just going to stay motiva motivated and yeah, try and absolutely smash it so good luck to anyone that's joining in the christmas boost we can absolutely do this keep me tagged in let me know how you're doing and 
hopefully I'll try and get a weekly live chat so we can have a chat and kind of inspire each other. So let's get on to today. Here's what I had for breakfast. Breakfast for 278 calories. I have got 50 grams of Special K. So this is dinner today. I've just done like a picky thing. <laughs> so um, put all sorts on there. I've tried to keep it as healthy as I can. Try to keep a lot of protein in there and fruit. Um, so yeah, I'll be weighing and counting calories as I go along. So, so far, this is 313 calories. Snacks for 173 calories. I've got one of the Muller Light chocolate fix layers for 69 calories. And I think the Delight's 104, can't remember. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna snap all these and then get cracking cleaning this house. This is tea for 682 calories and it is orange sticky chicken and rice. Um, I'll show you um, recipe card in a second, but it's an Hello Fresh one. So this was the recipe that we used and it was blooming delicious. Kayla didn't like it, but me and the lads did. It was very nice. So this is dessert for 106 calories. I've got 10 grams of reduced fat squares cream, a heartly sugar-free jelly and 50 grams of raspberry ripple ice cream. So this is going to finish my day. I can't remember what calories are, but I'll pop it up on screen now and you can see exactly what I've eaten, the calories that I've burnt and the calories that I'm left with. So thank you so much for watching. And I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.